<laughs> I'm hosting a talk show because there's a lot to talk about. This is the adventure. Let's go. Time for On the Couch. We're changing it up today. Guys on the Couch has evolved to On the Couch. Talking about dating, relationships, sex. We have Vivica with us. Hopefully, we have the old Vivica with us for this <laughs> part of the show. Siggy Flicker is with us. She is a relationship expert. Welcome. And Steve Santagati is New York Times best selling author. His latest book out now is Code of Honor. We're going to mix it up with questions from the audience. Talking about relationship and dating. Where is CL? CL, stand up. We'll get you a mic. Pete will bring it over. You have a panel of people ready to talk. What's your question? Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I have, What's your I have question? dated in like over 15 years. I think my problem is I'm just too picky. I don't like a man. I look at everything. If your shoelaces is dirty, if your shoes are dirty, your fingernails are dirty. Oh, please don't have ashy CL, elbows. 15 years you haven't dated? Yes. Haven't wow. dated? No sex? Nothing? Well, I ain't gonna say that, but. <laughs> <you know. laughs> guys, guys consider that a date. Usually sex is, we, that's what we call a date. But you'd yes. like to have well, a boyfriend, is what you're yes. saying. Yes. But well, you think yes. you're too picky? Yeah, I think I'm too picky. Well, you yes. get it. First of all, like we were talking earlier, Sigurd mm -hmm. and I were talking in the green room. Everybody has a value. Like when you not just on looks, like all you women are like, I want him to love me for his, my inside. What the hell is your inside? What are you worth? What do you have to bring to the table? Mm -hmm. You're saying you're picky, but what do you have to offer? Have you done a realistic assessment of who the hell you are and what you have to bring to a man? Because guess what? I might look at you and be like, you know what? She's not good enough for me. Steve, I love it. You're bringing it strong. Siggy, when you hear that right away, from Steve to nice, gentle CL just looking for a date. <laughs> this is why she's been single for so long. Because of this right here. This, this gorgeous man. No. But Look. there is nothing more important than you can do for yourself than be passionate about love. And obviously you're not passionate about about you're not passionate enough about love. Because every person is a person of value. And if I was just to judge a book by the cover, I'd be single too. Thank God I've been divorced, got married again, but I just keep on putting myself out there because you never know who's sitting in front of you. Sure. First date, second date, you can learn something. And by the way, if you don't like the person across from you, he might have a friend or a cousin ah. or a boss <laughs> or a brother. That's brilliant. So, Siggy, you're saying that she's, you're poor CL. I got to come out here with CL. Yeah. Uh, you're getting beat up right no. away. You no, no, up no, no, no. This is no. honest. She's being no. honest. This We're is the way. trying to help her. So am I. I'm just lending a comfort, yeah. a little bit of comfort. Are you single? I, too, am being honest. There is no reason for her to be. She's a beautiful girl who's got a beautiful smile. She's open. There's nothing closed right. about her, except for your mind. Your mind is shut closed. Vivica, weigh in on this. Well, I think that sometimes you have to learn to, to be like a tree and sometimes bend with the wind. No one's perfect. And sometimes, you know, what you may not like about a person, if you get to know them, you'll find something else you like about them, and you can fix that. Don't beat a person up before you get to know so them. So the advice from all of you is yeah. basically the same, which is open yourself up. Yeah. Yeah but, yeah, but you have to also take it, you know, I'll take that one step further. And I think what both, I agree with what both of you said. Um, it's like you look at human beings as a human being, not just like, does this person fulfill my list? Because you might find that guy that fits your list, and he might, be not, he might not be the perfect man for you. So what Vivica and Siggy are saying is, like, keep your mind open. You know, just see who's out there. You know, you don't have to, you're not going to be afraid. Take the fear out of it. So, CL, you know what you got to do, right? Right. Yeah. But here's the thing. Do any of you three think anything's going to change with CL today? Well, yeah. Well, I think she may have been enlightened a little yeah, bit. Not? You know what I mean? To just expand your horizon, sweetheart. Can I ask one question? If you were to, you must have some guy on your refrigerator, or on your desktop, or something, or Facebook. What actor or celebrity do you say this is the perfect guy? What turns I'll go you ahead on. and stand up. So you can <laughs> tell me now. <laughs> after Jeff, after Jeff <laughs> probes, after Jeff probes, who's next? Oh. On your list. Come on, you have a guy. Oh, yeah, Usher. Oh. I Usher. love Usher. Usher. Okay. I love Usher. Well, yes. six pack, young six and fun. Six pack and a smile. Yeah. I know it. All right. I know it. I know it. And he's C hot and he can dance and. CL, good luck waiting on Usher. <laughs> Thanks for the question.
More on the couch when we come back. Vivica. What? You're making it seem like guys are some like aggressive creeps. How do you think what I did learned? You say? How do you think okay, I take advantage of you? Yes, yes, and, and, yes, and who okay. do you and who do you think I and who do you think I learned from? Both of you and all of you. That is, you Women. Didn't learn that from me. More on the couch. We've got Vivica. We've got Siggy. We have uh, Steve. It's been heated. It's been good. It's been controversial. I like it. And we have another question. Lindsay and Nancy. We've got a mother daughter. All right. All right. What, what's the question, guys? Uh, my question is if you should start dating if you're not feeling 100% about yourself. Like, if you came out of a relationship and you kind of knew the things that like made you insecure and kind of either you sabotage the relationship because of that or they made you feel something but and it wasn't necessarily them making you feel something but just your insecurity that you go I'm just gonna work on that look at the girls are ready to answer this go, for you. Siggy. anybody who rejected you it's God protecting you Bam. There is no time. Bam. in order in order to find love you have to lead with your truest self you have to say, I'm not going to get the butt implants and look like J-Lo. I am who I am, and someone's going to love me for being me. There is no time to waste. You get back out there immediately. And the best way to stop thinking about somebody else is to get is on someone else. No. <laughs> First, all right, all right. That might work in touchy-feely land, but human beings... Hold on, Siggy, because I, I like okay. and respect Siggy. Okay. But that's not who we are. We are animals and we're not nice. We might be verbally nice, we might dress nice, we might have social amenities, but when it comes to dating, love, and sex, we're not nice. And if you're going out there with an insecurity as a woman, I'm gonna see it and I'm gonna use it to my advantage and I'm gonna take advantage of you. <laughs> so that's the reality. Okay, that's I'm what's... glad he kept it real and I'm gonna keep it even more real yeah. for you. Start by loving yourself True. first, yeah. Yeah. okay? Yeah. Because when you love yourself first, then the rest will fall into place. But you have to love yourself and value yourself first. And then all of that old junkie talking about taking advantage, woo 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 won't happen. It's not yeah. junk. Wait, hold on, wait. hold on. You too, Vivica. I have to say. Hold on. No, I just want to make one foot. No, I'm okay, sorry, okay, Sydney. Okay, now, I okay. promise I'll shut up because they're going to edit the show anyways. Now, listen, <laughs> Vivica. What? You're making it seem like guys are some like aggressive creeps. How do you think what I did learned? You say? How do you think okay, I take advantage of you? Yes, yes, and, and, yes, and who okay, do you yes, and who do you right, think I on. and who do you think I learned from? Both of you and all of you. That is, you women, didn't learn that from me. Yeah. You yeah, are. Right. You taught me. Oh, wait a second. You, look at your own laughing. Well, wait you're, a second. Don't you want to take a chance? Because there is a lid to every pot, and people get sick of me saying that. But wait, yeah. if you're out at a party and you meet somebody like that, like Steve, any guy, wait, he's gonna feed on your insecurities. But what if there's two men in that room? who see your insecurity and actually feel something for you oh, and you really? make a connection. Really? And then six months later, you guys are engaged to oh, be married. Really? It does happen. It does happen. It does happen. It does oh, really? it does yeah. Not all On the men of all. are like <laughs> this. On the wizard of all. Wait a second. No. I agree with Steve. 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 Hold no, on, Jeff. They're not. Jeff, they're if not. a woman sees a weakness in us, it's a turn off. If we can't change a tire, if it we depends. cry, if we not cry true. in front of you, my hold on. Hold on. I want to get my wife in here. No. Hold on, Lisa. Right. My Lisa. wife. My wife works on the show. We got a little camera in her office. There we go. Is she's is cute. she's cute and she's very honest. Is there any truth to what Steve's saying about any sign of weakness from a guy is some sort of a turn off to a woman on on some level? Uh, uh, well, there is a little bit of truth in that. Is that we do want you guys to be fixers, but we do love your vulnerable side because that's what makes that's what attracted me to you specifically is your vulnerable yeah. side because it allowed me to be vulnerable. Trust me. If you trust me, Jeff. If you were home crying at the Notebook with your popcorn and your and your and dude, your... I've cried at the Notebook every yes. time I watched it. Oh, I know. Every oh. single time. And hold on, hold He's on, crazy. Steve, crazy. Steve. Number Wait, Siggy, hold on. I have cried at the Notebook and I have cried at True Romance, two very polar opposite <laughs> love stories yes. because they're about love, which I like. And here's my hold on. I still have a say in this, too. Here's, here's my, uh, first of all, Mom, why are you here? <laughs> no, what's your, con no, 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 Mom. I, Mom, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, know. I love moms. Love. I love moms. <laughs> I meant. Mom got I, the tickets. <laughs> I meant, no, 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 why no. did you stand up with her? What's your contribution? I'm her mother. 
<laughs> she says, I say things because I'm her mother. She is so smart. Yes. She is so beautiful. Yes. She has the beautifulest sense of humor. She is the person I wish I was. Oh, that's why you're here. And it's true. It's true. She, I, and, I, and she says, you say it because you're my mom. No, Which, I'm mean. I can be mean, too. <laughs> and well, I, wait a minute, Mom. It is, it is oh. also because you're a mom. That is your job. You created this young yes. woman and you raised her. Here's, here's my two cents on this. Mm -hmm. I'm with Steve in this, in this way. That if a woman stands up and, and you meet somebody at a party and, you, and I say, how's it going? And you say, oh, you know, it's been better. I was in a relationship and I'm not feeling that great about myself. I am not interested. But she, Lindsay, what Hold is... Hold on. Okay. I'm, just saying, I'm just well, saying. I'm just saying. Good. No, no I'm, not, not, no. I'm not the best. I exist. I know. Like an attractive kind of people like to be around me, but it's one of those things. I, be, I hope people like to be around me. Um, but it's one of those things that, you know, you get into it. It's like... The six weeks down the road into the relationship, it's mm -hmm. all fun and everything's right. good, and you get right. lost it. But then things start to you get into your head about it, and you go, and that's when you go, "Oh my goodness, I didn't love myself enough that, to combat," and it starts eating that's away. That's your fear voice, and you shouldn't pay attention to that voice in your head. It's lying to you. Trust your feminine instinct, in, uh, intuition, instinct. It'll never let you down. So you're, you're connecting to what these guys are saying about loving yourself. And you're beautiful. You're oh, pretty girl. Oh, I get girl. that. Yeah, and I agree with Steve about. A lot of this stuff too. I work with a lot of men, so it kind of it makes sense. You know, I'm not with blinders on, and like I see Pete over there, that looks nice. It's right. like I don't. I'm not. <laughs> hey. love Everyone loves them so Pete. <laughs> Pete. I'm not closed off to the opportunity. But the thing is, I'm not gonna get online and really right. pursue it you're, you're... until I really know that I. Um, fully. You right. got to get out no, there now. No, that's Jeff, what they're saying, on. right? She, to answer your question succinctly, because you asked a very specific question, should I get out there uh, not feeling 100 percent? And the answer is no. And go to Vivica. You learn to love yourself. Right. It like I mean, Pat Benatar loves a battlefield. Yes. It's fun. There's a lot of shooting, a lot of kissing, a lot of hugging, all kinds of stuff going on. But you want to be prepared. You want to be in shape, and you want to have that confidence in that. That's what a plum means, oh, okay. to go into trying circumstances you with confidence. You have the confidence. You get you, out there that's the immediately. That's that I agree with. <laughs> yes. I agree with him. Listen you got to that somebody one right. who's been there and done that, and I'm telling you right now. I'm with her. Get short. out there now. Mom, glad you're here. Thank Thanks you. for the question.